All right, so the GoPro is sitting on Craig Wigan's bike, who I have next to me. Craig, who are you? What do you do for the RCA and uh, what do you do when it comes to bike riding? Yeah, so I manage the member success of the Road Cycling Academy and do a lot of social media posts and video editing Yeah, for the Road Cycling Academy. I also ride for the Australian Cycling Academy back down in Sunshine Coast at a continental level. But yeah, here we're racing the Australian Criterium Series, the Bay Crits. So, so the Bay Crits, it's the start of the Australian road season, essentially. This is the National Road Series, so the top tier in Australia. Do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, this race and this course? You just came out of quite a sharp hairpin. Yeah, this course is one of the main ones that have been using the Bay Crits for the last few years now. It's that that hairpin there's a certain line to take this one the we'll end- see somebody go off a little bit <laughs> on the next lap yeah but, yeah but for sure what's the trick with it go wide you say um yeah so the entry to it is quite cambered so it's real nice so it feels like you can carry a lot of speed through it but if you go too wide on the exit it off cambers a lot and then yeah the the ditch comes up pretty quick if you take the wrong line so yeah you want to enter wide and then exit around that centre line of that road. And we're coming up to another technical part of the course, which is slightly uphill. Do you want to tell us what your strategy was here? Yeah, so with all my uh, cycling experience and sprinting ex- experience and all the races I've done, what I've found is a lot of people just sprint up every hill and then they'll just roll at the top of the berg. So Dictated by the terrain, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Not only old mammals that are dictated by the terrain, it's also these NRS riders. How about that? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So here you see me just like sitting back, just trying to cruise. I'm basically riding like tempo threshold here when everyone's sprinting. And yeah, I just let them save come energy. back to me. Yeah, save energy. And yeah, just try to be fresher for when it counts. Yeah. And um, they do, they sort of come off the pedals, go hard and off the pedals and then... Uh, coming into this f- sort of finish line straight, kind of an S-bend, I guess you'd say. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, so it's quite a. this is quite a technical part of the course as well. You might have seen there, there was some gravel on the left. Yes. So if you're taking the race line, uh, you obviously want to go left to right for the right-hand turn and then you hug the left around the barriers here. But yeah, there's because of the gravel on the outside when you're turning right you have to be a little bit careful you won't wash out because yeah in the last few laps we're taking that corner a lot quicker so it was good to obviously get a few runs and set yourself up mentally of how the finish is going to go absolutely now we'll skip forward to the the last lap shortly but before we do that you sort of alluded to it earlier what's your role within the team and you can see somebody going off there on that corner um yeah so i'm the main sprinter here on the um, ACA team. Yes. So my job and my role for this race was just sit in, conserve energy, get to the finish of the race, and yeah, do what I do best, which is sprint. Yes. How many watts can you do for five, ten seconds? I, I, I'm always fascinated about this. <laughs> uh, my best five second uh, PB watts is like sixteen eighty. Wow. Okay. So it's and quite a bit at like seventy one kilos. Yeah, absolutely. Watts per kilo. That's massive. And uh, who are the contenders for this race? Uh, the main contenders are Brenton Jones, who just came back from racing with Canyon DHB from the pro ranks. Yeah. And Blake Quick, he rides for Informs, uh, Team X Make. They are both on the same team. Jensen Plowright, who's now signed with FD, FDJ Conti. And a couple of the Oliver guys like uh, Tom Bolton, they have a real strong team. Jeez, you're getting here. close there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Just uh, you sort of slang shot yourself into that, didn't you? Yeah. So coming off that from the hairpin, it's quite a big downhill run into the base of that little berg. So what I do, just like hold back and then just basically ride up everyone's wheels going up into the climb just so I hold more speed than everyone else because yeah cycling's ultimately how fast you go it doesn't matter what power you do as long as you're faster than everyone else at the finish line then that's what counts so I'm just rolling up the hill instead of pedaling because that's much easier absolutely and uh so what was your goal because I know you've you had a, uh, a bit of an incident recently an unfortunate incident some time off the bike so were you going in here to get some race legs back or were you going in here to win um as a as a sprinter, I always have that mentality as every race I go in, I try to win. 
Like I never try to just do my best. It's always like you win or you lose. So that was the mentality. Even with all my time off I've had, I'm still looking at winning. So here I know I don't have quite the form that I've had in the past. I'm just really trying to conserve as much energy as I can because I know I'll need to be as smart as possible just to get the best result. Absolutely. All right, well, let's skip to the last lap. So coming into Bell Lap, what's the goal? Um, so we had Kane Richards here. He was my main lead out man. So, so he's in front of you there? Yeah. Yep. So this was the first race we've done together. So it was a lot of learning and yeah, just seeing how he raced within the team and what he wanted to do because his two minds think slightly differently. You really need them to be in sync to get the best outcome. And as this being our first race together, it was a little bit hard to... 100% trust what he was going to do because I know what I need to do. Yep. And yeah, sometimes... And you feel like you're getting boxed in here, is yeah. it? Yeah. So we're getting boxed in here. So that's when like a little bit of doubt in Kane comes in. It's yes. not his fault. But it's just me as a sprinter. I know I still need to be at the front of the race. Yes. Because it's a race into the last few corners. So here, like Hamish... Another teammate. Yeah, he's another teammate, Hamish McKenzie. He's starting to bring me up on the inside. The problem is the inside gets squeezed yes. coming into this right-hand turn. Yes. So it's like I need to move up now quickly, which I do. I just tell him to give me some space and I just move up another five wheels and now I'm on to Blake Quick's wheel. And they're, they're in the white kit there on the left-hand side. Well, oh, look at that. That's a bit close. Who's there? Is that Brenton Jones, is it? Yeah. Right. So I know Brenton Jones, he'll just push people out of the way. So he's always a good wheel to follow. And Blake Quick, he's one of the favourites for the race. So I know... Here, here I don't uh, do my slow pedaling up the hill. Nice. <laughs> you I have can to see. <laughs> 800 watts. Yeah, yeah. You but to you're trying to get on Blake's wheel, are you? Is that the goal? Yep. The goal is now it's shifted from Kane's wheel. So I follow Blake. And this is one of the hardest bits of the race here. So this is like the race defining moments. And just having to sprint onto his hit wheel as fast as possible. And you're going past some teammates there. They're in a break for half an hour, I understand. Yeah. So they're in that main break of the day. And yeah, we fortunately, or unfortunately for them, caught them on the last lap now someone's on your left hand side they're pushing you around who's that so that's jensen plower right so it was just a fight into blake's wheel so go over Full the speed up here you can see his wheel coming into frame on that bottom left shot and i'm just trying to hold him in and at this point it's just i'm groveling to the line just trying to hold on to the second oh you've done pretty well to finish second there i know you wanted to finish first but you've done pretty well but it it, it was a, a challenging ride because you had to fight to get into position and then you were fighting with jensen for the right draft if you could have done that sprint again differently how would have it panned out um so ideally you don't want to be fighting because that fighting for wheels because that just burns energy so you could have seen kane richards he did come up on the left he did get through so in an ideal world i would have just sat on his wheel had a 10 percent easier ride up and around that berg and yeah he would have dropped me off a lot fresher mm. and i might have had enough energy to come around Blake there at the end so that's like the only that's the biggest takeaway from this yes and um that's Jensen there is it yeah yep he uh whoop, gives you a bit of a look there <laughs> is uh is everything okay you guys friendly afterwards or you have a bit of a word to each other uh we're all friendly afterwards okay. in the race is yeah the gloves are off we're like yeah going hell for leather at each other but yeah afterwards everyone knows we're just trying to get the best result possible and at the end of the day, I beat him fair and square if it was with a few shoulder touches. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll go back and watch that finish again. Tell us about um, Blake Quick. You've ridden with him before. He's in some pretty good form at the moment. Yeah, yeah, he's in some great form. I was uh, fortunate enough, enough to be on the same team as him for two years on the St. George Continental. So we've done a lot of the UCI Asia circuit together. We've had some, uh, yeah, good victories over there with each other helping each other out and yeah he's a top bloke and he's just come he sort of feels like he's come out of nowhere i'm sure he hasn't but to the bystander like myself um why is he in such good form at the moment um yeah so he does love the, love the beers but <laughs> he's he's um put he's them put, down put them down put there them down go. in the last two months and yeah he's real shot knuckle up. down yeah good on him oh well, well done to blake and his form at the minute and Mate, I'm sure once you get uh, some Ks, and I know you've been doing some big 800 weeks recently, it could be a different story. Yeah, yeah. We're planning to head over to Europe this year, so hopefully we can yeah, put in this hard work and get some good results. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
High five from your teammate. Yeah. Bit the, of love there. It's great to see. Yeah, the team were all pretty stoked because they knew how hard I've wanted to get a good result and how hard the last few months have been with all my yeah problems I've been having. <laughs> yes, uh, and that unfortunate incident. So, mate, good to see you back. Um, quickly, last one. Yellow Factor Bikes, Factors and you. Uh, are you on the Factor? Yeah. Yep, you're on the Ostro? Yeah, we're on the Ostro Vam. How do you find that bike? Um, yeah, it's quite nice. It's very fast, and what I like the most about it is it's got massive tyre clearance. So right. It's got 32mm tyre clearance. Oh, wow. So we can do like proper gravel riding, and yeah, I love my off-road adventuring, which is a bit weird as a sprinter. Yes. But yeah, just love that type of riding. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, mate. Well, thanks for your time. See you. Thanks.